we earlier spoke of the interaction between the anterior cingulate and a portion of the brain called the limbic system. We need to talk about this structure called the limbic system. So question number one, of course, is what is the limbic system? It is a composite structure consisting of multiple parts. Really? What parts are those? And what role do they play? What should I say? What roles do they play? Fair enough. What are the parts of this limbic system? Well, there are several parts. There is the hippocampus. What's the hippocampus? This is the hippocampus. Color-coded blue. All vertebrates have a hippocampus. Here we see a dissection of a rat hippocampus. Okay, so you say, what other parts are there to this limbic system? Well, right next to the hippocampus, which is in green, is a structure called the amygdala, which is in red. It is the center of fear. What do you mean by that? The amygdala is the storage medium for all of our past negative emotions and feelings. For example, if a patient, John Doe, has had bad experiences with his mom, those feelings, emotions, are stored in the amygdala. In the future, when John the witnesses some female behaving like his mom, John does amygdala stored feelings and emotions could very well surface, producing a burst of anger. So, someone says, Doctor, is that sort of like that PTSD thing I heard about on the TV news? Yes, there are similarities. Let me explain. First off, PTSD stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. In America, there was a famous man who became a recluse, a hermit. His name was Howard Hughes. His is a most sad and tragic story. It is about the collapse of an extraordinary man due to extraordinary circumstances. Really? How did that happen? Hughes was flying an experimental craft for the Army Air Force called the XF-11. The plane crashed, nearly burning him alive. The experience burned or imprinted upon his amygdala a profound terror that would surface again and again and again. In psychiatry, we call this a vivid re-experiencing of the trauma, or PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, that's a lot to observe, so let's end today's lecture on that note. This is Dr. Tom from Ulsan.